Welcome to another episode of Beer for Breakfast ABV. I am Danielle from The Morning Show on 91X. As always, I have my beer drinking partner in crime with me, Paul Segura from Carl Strauss. Aloha. Welcome, friend. Thank How's you. How's it going? Excellent. Um, I'm actually kind of stoked out about this because you're a surfer and like this brewery is like super duper surfer centric. It is, man. <laughs> uh, we have Helia Brewing on today. We've got Thomas, owner. We have Kelby, owner and uh, brew, br head brewer. And we've got Mark from Sales and Events. Welcome, guys. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So stoked for to having have us. you yeah. here. Yeah. Good to have you guys. Um, Cheers. 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 <laughs> Helia Brewing. So you guys are technically in Vista. However, you guys are Lucadia boys, right? Is that is that where the story starts? That is the story. That's where they met, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell me the story. Thomas tells the story. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, how'd you guys meet? Uh, I'm this Brazilian transplanted here. Like I, I came to live here seven years ago, really into craft beer. By then, since since Brazil was like just blooming. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like started 10 years ago. So I got here, found out like this amazing place, San Diego. And uh, I was coming back from a surf sesh and Kelby was home brewing on his garage. I was like, hey, what are you doing there? <laughs> beer, I'm yeah. doing beer. So trying to score free beers, you know, yeah, from yeah, Kelby yeah. as he's home brewing. And yeah, he's that, that's, that's <laughs> what happened. So that evolved and we kept brewing every week and we'd have these great barbecue brew sessions and then all the neighbors. Neighbors walking around like zombies with cups trying to find the like open garage. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so then you guys just said, we got to like open a brewery together. Yeah, it was we definitely already surf, on like, my mind. We both mind love and, like, craft beer. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there, was, there was a little more than that where we really wanted, uh, you know, to, to kind of have this platform for ourselves to grow, have this business, something that like everybody else can get stoked on and be a part of as well. That's and, awesome. and this platform was since the beginning kind of blending with surf and good people, good people around the community there. So we we always had like a lot of support mm -hmm. from from our fa friends and family there in Leocadia. Yeah. Well, and you know, don't knock the beer. So we just had our pre-funk, your uh, happy pale oh. ale. Yep, there were pre-funks around here. <laughs> your happy pale ale coming in at a 5.6%. You're canning this. This is a delicious beer. Yeah, I, I dig it's it. Kind of an old school pale ale. It's got a lot of great malt flavor. I don't know biscuits. I get toast, mm. um, and then the hops kind of finish it out nicely. Yeah, yeah. You know, right? Nice kind of citrus. That's important in San Diego. You gotta have some hops, <clears throat> right? Like, yeah. Push everything off. It's got a good taste. But it's got taste. everything. Everything. Yeah. Every, people who drink beer for the flavor would love this beer. Yeah. As I do. Yeah. Awesome. It's got everything you want. It goes great with like barbecue and food too. It's, yeah. It has that balance that you can mix with, um, you know, kind of pretty much everything. Can you also kind of talk about these six packs that you have these in? Because uh, these are a little different. Yeah, these are sweet. So we just started using them. It's, uh, um, it's like made of old like algae and spent grain, 100% biodegradable six pack rings. <gasps> Yeah. yeah. So we won't see those like really sad commercials when you see like a six pack ring around like a turtle. Uh, yeah. And no, no, no. yeah. <laughs> this okay. is awesome. I love this. Yeah. A little piece of my soul dies every time I oh. see that. Yeah. But then you see the ads for these and you see like a turtle chomping on yeah, it. Yeah, you can yeah. chomp on it. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully it will it's become good. a trend soon. I think we're slowly starting to see, you know, more people doing it. But, you know, it'll be is great it, to like, you know. Is it much more expensive to have these biodegradable ones than like the other ones that we see around regularly? No. They're, I mean, like when you buy small quantities just to test out, it's not so much. But the company's great. They, you know, they'll help you out with whatever, like the outfitter to put it on and stuff, the applicator. But if we can get a few breweries on board to, to have a nice little little bulk order. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We could all save some money, too. So I salute you guys for doing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, as surfers, right, you're, you know, conscious yeah. about making yeah. sure. If you think about the benefits, it's like priceless when yeah, actually to use something like this yeah we try to be involved with like different organizations like one of the collabs that um, they did was with uh, changing tides foundation nice um, yeah so we made a foggy pale ale with them which was really, Ooh, really cool foggy yeah. pale I yeah. dig that well um, San Diego Thank beer you. out there if you need help I can get you Mark's contact information, Kelby's, and Thomas. If you want to get yes. in on this, let's, yes. let's, let's start a movement in San Diego. Yes, yeah. yeah. All of the six yeah. packs come in these. This is really, really Yeah, cool. we, we totally. know that Peer Project got then and also Corona down in Mexico. Nice. So it's something that like, people are looking Very for. Very cool. It. Well, shout yeah. out Jesse over at Peer Project. You guys yeah. are doing amazing Thanks stuff. Thanks for doing that, Jesse. You rock, mm. man. So to transition yeah. into the next beer, uh, your guys' is Hazy IPA. Yeah, this is, our, this is our Hazy J. 
You know, you gotta have a hazy. Cheers. This is San Diego. Right, hazy J. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Yeah. There is a funny story about this beer. I want to mm. hear it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one, one of our good partners and friend, uh, his name is Jason. And he was since the beginning, hey guys, you need to name a beer after my name. Come on, after mm -hmm. me. And he was insisting the whole time. Finally, we named Hazy J. We named our first Hazy IP. <laughs> and it's the best seller. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. bragging about yeah. it for like all around all right, town. Well, if you see him around, that. he'll be there like talking he about it. He doesn't even just go yeah. by J anymore. He's like, I'm Hazy J. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so when you said Hazy J, I thought the hops were going to be dank and it would be like named after a smoke session yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was thinking, you know, when we were in the garage, you know, yeah. just yeah, going yeah. around the Hazy J. No, this yeah. is good. 7%. A little, yep. little bit on the... Uh, the ball's of your side, but I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not, it doesn't look like juice either. It's not a giant haze ball. Yeah. 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 Nice. This was yeah. always a thing. I love yeah. that, man. It's not a yeast bomb. It's got a lot of nice upfront aggressive mm. hop flavor. Yeah. And it's slightly on the drier side, I think, for a, for a hazy. Yeah. 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 We're not, I mean, we're not trying to kind of build this New England IPA style in San Diego. I think it's killer that, you know, that style's being pushed, but. We're, Still has a little West Coast presence to it. It's really dry, super hoppy. Do use our hazy yeast on it though. It keeps mm. it nice. So and I got the feeling as brewmaster, you're kind of making beers that you dig, with a very good chance that a lot of other people are going to dig it. Yeah, yeah, something that you know, I can drink this on the beach all day. And there it is. Like have a good time, right. relax. Goes good with my food. Goes good with my friends. Everything. I think it's like a sessionable beer too, even at seven percent still. Mm -hmm. Yep. Could get you into trouble, but that's okay. Yeah. yeah. You need a little that's, trouble sometimes. We'll just go look for the kook. It's yeah. cool. No yeah. big deal. Uh, a little trouble. So Helia Brewing, where did your name come from? Because it's a very, it's, it's, it's a very yeah. interesting yeah. name. Yeah. It, it took me a couple times of saying it over and over. Yeah. I was like, I think I'm saying it right. Yeah. So, so Helia, she is our sun goddess. She's the daughter of Helios, and her, her mom was a sea nymph. So she's like literally of the ocean and sun. California Hallmarks. Represents us very well in our, you know, our community and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah and Lucadia as well, cause from yeah. all the street names being uh, all Greek gods and goddesses. So it's kind of. I yeah. also like right. that yeah. that yeah. you're a little, you know, she actually looks like a real person. Yeah. 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 As a thicker gal, I appreciate <laughs> that. Yeah. I appreciate she looks like a real person. Yeah. I like that, guys. Hey. If she was a real person, I'd be hot for her. Hey, she kind of looks like uh, one of our bartenders, Tabby. Like, yeah. very, so shout out Tabby. Inspiration right there. Yeah. Tabby um, like that. Yeah. If we wanted to go to your tasting room, speaking of, where do yeah. I find you guys? Oh, we're just in Vista, kind of close to Carlsbad, Palm Airport Road and Business Park. Okay. Got a sweet little spot there. Just down the street from us, too, off of Keystone, uh, Dogleg is opening and Epic is opening right Right next oh, to us. Yeah. Those guys. Those guys. Yeah. So we're stoked to have some new some new neighbors. Totally. It brings yeah. more beer people to that area, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, totally. Right. Tide floats all boats. Mm -hmm. This is already killing it with you know, like how progressive they are and how stoked they are in craft breweries. So Yeah. It was a we were yeah. What about outside the tasting room? Are you like wine are you finding good placement all over the yeah, place? Yeah, and we've gotten great feedback, which is great. Like I mean, especially like Carter Seaside Market has just adopted the happy cans, which is awesome. Um, they order that really frequently, and people are really responding to the to the rings again and the beer, which is great. And I think that like just as I'm, you know, we're hitting the coast a lot, and we're slowly starting to like spread our distribution. But like people along the coast are just really vibing with the the beer and with the brand. So yeah, yeah. it's been great. Well, now they're gonna get to know you guys, like yeah. who's yeah. behind the brand. Yeah, and, and that's gonna make them like it even more. I think. Yeah. That always happens. Yeah. And going back a little bit on the tasting room, we have like live music three days a week. Yeah, right below the Target store, we have a nice area there, like super good vibe. So everyone yeah. is yeah. welcome to. And actually, as we were talking about earlier, um, Fashion Jackson who's playing your guys' uh, ah, Christmas show. Yes. Yeah, they, they actually played our Helia Fest, which is we're hoping to have more regularly um, a big event with art and music and food. And they killed it. We loved them. So it was oh, cool. Fashion Mutual, Jackson's, yeah. There, there's, yeah. it's, all I have to say is December 5th is going to be a really good time. And if you're not there, um, sorry, not sorry. You should have gotten your ticket. And you should drink some <laughs> Helia. Oh, Pre-game with some Helia and then go, go out and listen <laughs> to some live music. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Beer and live music. Yeah. Uh, 
We are about to hit your guys' one year anniversary right. next month. Congratulations, by the way. Is there is there anything right now. Is there anything set in the books for that yet? Do we need to keep an eye out? Seems that we just decided on a date. Yeah. Right right now, five minutes. Uh, right. Ago. <laughs> we scooped it. <laughs> Way to keep up with you guys so that we know exactly when it is set in stone how do we um, keep up with helia instagram and facebook would be the best way we try to post a lot with our stories and on our feed so yeah definitely check it check up on that um but yeah we we post a lot about music food and events nice yeah. so this guy this guy bro yeah you want a porter I yeah, yeah. I want a porter, man. <laughs> stoked on this and it's solid it's nice. we do too. That thank you yeah Ooh. one of my favorite Ooh. styles of beer that you rarely see out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a style that people, once again, people who love the flavor of beer will go to, man. Mm -hmm. It's got that yeah. nuttiness that, I don't know, it's nice kind of a um, little toasty, a mm -hmm. little bit of cocoa, mm -hmm. yeah. perfect mouthfeel, perfect balance, perfect dryness. Nice. This is perfect. a good beer right here. Awesome. Anything Thank else, you. Paul? You want to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, we were, we were super stoked. Can I stoked. go with you? Yeah, exactly. We were stoked because this actually took home um, second place at the San Diego International Beer Competition this year. So, yeah. I didn't judge, but if but I had, though. I would have also <laughs> gave that good, good marks. It's good beer. Cool. Thanks. This is a good beer. Yeah. I love it. It's a little, little higher, 7.4 for a porter, but I think it still has that approachability to it. That's nice. Nice this is available all year long or is it seasonal? This is all available all year. Um, Ooh, or, or you year. know what? You got you guys are a rare breed. Yeah. That the porter yeah. is available yeah. all year. I can only think of second chance that has a porter available yeah. all year yeah. long. And I heard that you like red ales. We oh, have yes. a, like a core red ale there. Yeah. And what? we brought for you. So yeah. we're gonna exactly. check it out. Oh, yeah. Nobody yeah. makes reds. They oh I'm so excited. Oh, <laughs> We're hanging out after yeah. this, by the way. Yeah. I, I hope you guys had nothing to do, because I don't. We're drinking this for now. Oh, this if I'm coming out of the ocean, man, and it's like my core is still kind of cold, mm -hmm. I'm going to have one of these. Yeah. 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 You know? Imagine mm -hmm. about those winter time like surf sash. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Uh. Hey, we're working on a imperial version of it right now. We just got some killer Weller barrels. We'll do a little, you know. In there, it'll be, okay. a, it'll be a 12 percent um, imperial version of it. Nice. Mm. Experimenting, I yeah. like it. So maybe for your second anniversary, yeah, after right? a year of aging an oak, people should, can should expect to nice, see yeah. that 12 percent. We've been having this one aged yeah, in some barrels. We've got some old wild turkey diamond barrels and a Hennaberry's hen barrel too that should be ready pretty soon. You guys are getting crazy up no. there in Vista. No. Yeah, yeah. we're trying to experiment a little. Yeah, yeah. working hard. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have fun with it. Mm. Yeah. Gotta have fun with it. This it's is easier when you, you, you work with what you like, you know? Yeah. Makes it easier. Absolutely. Get to yeah. go play. Yeah. Right on, guys. Um, Real quick, is this the only beer that is canned, or do you have another cans? Yeah, this is one we have canned right now. We've mm -hmm. been canned for a few months. Um, we just have our, the Hazy J will be available in cans within the next yes. probably three weeks. Um, and then we'll have another one coming out, probably like a, a Brucadia Golden Ale. Ooh. So it'll be kind of like a nice little even keel. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to yeah. play off it a little. Yeah. I yeah. dig it. Right on. Well, Thomas, Kelby, Mark, thank you guys so much for coming yeah. on Beer for Breakfast. I am so blown away by the standard of beers that you have. Your variety is great. I mean, much what continued do you... success to you guys. Right After on. tasting your beers and getting to know you guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's you guys are gonna hit it's it. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Thanks so much it for having me. No yeah, yeah, thank you so much. And yeah. uh, remember, every Friday morning, Paul comes onto the morning show around 9:05, and we do beer for breakfast. Uh, Helia Brewing will be on this week, so make sure you join us um, while we drink beer and. You sit in traffic. I mean, you know. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I don't know. Uh, you can find all previous episodes of Beer for Breakfast ABV at 91x.com. Thank you so much. And cheers to independently owned craft beer. Cheers to you. Cheers. Yay. 91x.